Alright everybody, so today is going to be Firelight MS4 Mini System Test 3. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and get started, but right before we start, um, I just want to say um, I, ha I, w I wish you all a happy Easter for all of you that celebrated. I uh, hope you guys had fun and hope you guys just had a good Easter in general. So, um, so yeah, um, I know I did. So let's go ahead and start the video, like I said. So of course we have the same panel, Firelight MS4, Firelight Control Panel. And um, as if you might notice a few changes. So now I'm holding the camera just so I can show you easier. So we still have the same battery trouble. Now, as you can see at the top, there is way more wiring, right? As you can see, I now have wired up the non resetable power, and I'm still using both NACs, and I now have four zones hooked up, and the supervisory relay. So you'll find out what that means later. And also, there is now a ground fault, which I'll explain in just a few minutes. All right, so now going over the devices, we have my Serena RSGT bar, RMS1 TLP and Y, with the New York stripe. And now right below that, we now have my SSA emergency, st emergency station, which is basically a Firelight BG12, but it broke. So, um, and it's not the one that you've seen, it's one that I had a long time ago. Um, so, so yeah, and so I just turned it into, you have to open it up with the, the uh, hex and then flip the switch. And I'll explain how everything works in a minute. I'll just show everything first. So going up right there, we have my Gentex Commander 3 horn strobe. Um, it's a GSU3-12WR, I think. And the strobe is on NAC2, and the horn is on NAC1. And I have it set to 15 Candela, code 3 chime. And now, going right above it, right there, is my Gentex Commander 3 mass notification horn strobe with the red strobe and it's on 15 candela and it's set to weak. Alrighty, so now going right here, this is where the notification appliance used to be and then the smoke detector was right there, but now we have some changes. Or wait, yeah, yeah, the notification appliance was there. So here we have my same system sensor 2400 on zone 1 and I have to move it over a little so I can put that there. And here is my simplex key switch slash remote enunciator LED, which is right there, as it is displayed right there. And right there is my system sensor 5604 fixed only heat detector. Okay, so now I'm explaining how everything works. So this pole is on zone 2, this is on zone 1, these are on zone 3, and this is on zone 4. So how I have it is that um, all the zones, you know, so like if I pull this or anything, just this goes, and this device does not go off. Just this goes, and then when you silence it, the show keeps flashing, blah, blah. Um, so then all of this, it activates this, of course, because this is hooked to the next. This key switch is looped to test the heat detector, because I wired them together. Oh, excuse me. And um, the LED is just hooked on to the NAC. And that's just regular. Now how I have it is, I'm pretty sure most of you guys know about the whole fake neck thing where you can use the alarm relay and auto-suitable power. Well I actually used the supervisory relay and did that exact thing. And I will demonstrate how to wire it eventually. I can just give a tiny overview. Um, NO just jumps over. So how, I'm just going to give it a quick, so I'm not really going to explain it, but this, the resetable power or non-resetable power circuit is basically the battery. This is the pulse station, and this is the alarm. So I wired it kind of just like how you do when it's a battery. So how this works is, this is set to supervisor on the panel right there. So if I activate it, this goes off, and it cannot be silenced. So now I've explained it, so there you go. And now I think it's pretty cool that it's on the board like that. Alrighty, so now I think it's about time that I go ahead and pull the pulse station. Here we go. As you can see, this one's going off, and this one's not going off. See? So I've done text on, so that's why it skips. So, 
ahead and open this. Knowledge. Silence. As you can see, zone 2 fire alarm. And the strokes keep slashing. And uh, yes, it is pulled. Alright, so let's go ahead and reset the pulse station with the hex key. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and re-alarm with the smoke detector. Alrighty, so it's, now we're going to go ahead and re-alarm with the smoke. And this usually does verification, which I will demonstrate in another video. But now that's already an alarm, in alarm it won't. So I'm going to go ahead and use the CRC smoke detector tester for this. I'm not going to use this uh, smoke saber, it's upstairs. So here we go. See if the LED is on. Steady. No. It's the remote not see the LED. Same alarm. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and test the heat detector with the simplex key switch. So I'm going to go ahead and stick the key in. And we're going to turn it. Whoops. Oh my gosh. So we're going to stick the key in and turn it. silence that. So as you can see, um, all three zones have been activated. So now, now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and reset the system. Wait for the battery trouble to come up. And also, I forgot to mention why the grounding trouble is here. That's just because when you wire the the relay with the non resettable power. Um, and yes, I did do it right, and all that as a fact. It just, the fact that I did that, um, it, it's kind of like a hack, but it's not, it's no, it doesn't cause any damage. But the thing is, it thinks that there's a ground fault because of the way that I wired it, and that's how it's supposed to be done. So yeah, that, that's pretty much it. And again, all FPL. So I'm going to go ahead and close this up, and now. We're going to do the emergency. Okay. So now we have this emergency station. I'm going to take the hex key, the hex wrench. It's a little bit stripped out. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and open it and then flip the switch. Alrighty, so I think that's pretty much the video. Um, thank you guys for watching. And as you can see, I now zoomed out a little so you can see how it all looks. Um, so thank you for watching. I have a few other stuff coming soon. And um, I'm also going to be uploading some fire drill videos pretty soon um, of the home system, which I've already done one, but I didn't record it. So I'm going to do another one pretty soon because at my house, even my parents and I agreed that we really should be practicing fire drills at home. So. So, yeah, that's pretty much what we're doing, and um, I thank you guys all for watching. See you guys next time. Bye.